What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Today, what we're going to be talking about is Greg Doucette and Tifu. A um, bit of background on my gym journeys. I, when I was about 14 or 15, I was 117 pounds or 115 pounds, excuse me. And this is a picture of me right here. And now I weigh 166, and this is a picture of me right here. And um, that's about it. I really have no more goals. I want to, I mean, one goal is to get down to 160. Right now, I'm at like 16% body fat, and I want to get down to like 13% body fat and just maintain 160 my whole life. But I was one of those skinny twig kids. So I'm going to also sprinkle a little bit of experience in here. Um, Greg Doucette, professional bodybuilder on HRT, admits to using steroids, has like 500,000 subscribers, talked about Tifu, professional gamer. Do I have to tell you about Tifu? He has like 15 million subs. Um, Greg accused Tifu of using steroids. It's really that simple. Uh, Greg's a world renowned bodybuilder, IFBB pro. Um, 30 years of lifting, most bodybuilding competitions won, like 45 bodybuilding competition shows. The dude set multiple world records in weightlifting. I mean, he has his, he has a bachelor's and master's in kinesiology. The guy really knows what he's doing. Um, so you can't really move, a, like you can't beat around the bush with this guy. You really can't. I mean, he's not just like your run of the mill average joe the, you know greg Doucette is a he you can't mess around with him he knows what he's talking about he just knows tifu in six months literally went from one of the skinniest people i've ever seen in my life to looking like dk metcalf in six months dude this guy literally transformed his entire body from from a surfer to like no not even a surfer he he from a couch potato to like an NFL star. Some NFL players don't even look like that. And, you know, he said in his videos he gained 30 pounds of muscle. And this is where, you know, th this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I talked about this about two months ago, the lies that are perceived onto us by the uh, fitness industry. Um, and we believe it. We always, we just believe this kind of stuff. I don't know why, but we do. And it's like, you know, I'm trying to... All right, let's bring me for an example. I started lifting at 15. I'm 23 years old. Um, I know, I know, I don't look like I'm 23. I look like I'm 12. But <clears throat> I gained, I was 115 pounds and now I'm 166. I gained 40 pounds. Do you understand me? I gained 40 pounds in eight years of lifting. And I'm going to go ahead and say 27 pounds of that was muscle. And I still look frail. I still look like I don't lift. And this is in eight years of constant lifting, trying to stay at like a 15% body fat, trying to stay lean, trying to do this. This dude did it in six months, and he expects us to believe that. 30 pounds of muscle, he claims, in six months. I mean, it's just like I was talking about this with my cousin the other day, like the whole fitness industry on YouTube. How, I mean, uh, let me ask you something. Why, why is it believable when they do it? And if it's so believable when they do it, why don't you do it? If if Tifu's transformation is that believable that he did that in six months, email Tifu, ask him, yo, dude, you know what was your uh, what was your workout regimen, and he'll give you it and do it for six months. Go ahead, do it. If I do Tifu's um, workout plan for six months and he gives me it for free, just goes here you go. I'm gonna look like him in six. I don't even look like him, and I've been working out for eight years. I don't know, man. And you know what's so funny is that, like, people who work out, they usually tend to gain a lot of fat. So, like, you see guys in the gym, and they're deadlifting, like, 500 pounds, and they're benching, like, 300 pounds, which is fine. That's great. Good for you. But when you're, like, 230 pounds of fat, it's not really that impressive. I mean, at this point, you're just getting fat. Um, but if you're benching, like, 250 pounds and you're, like, 170 pounds and you're, you're like, you know, below 20% body fat, that's impressive. I want an athletic body. When you see these guys, man, like, this dude's 22. He's a year younger than me. This dude's a year younger than me. He has the body of, like, a 30-year-old. It's not – it's just not real. It's not real. 
It's not real. And then he becomes an online coach, and then he starts selling his supplements because he got a little bit of muscle. It's just a money. It's like a money hungry industry to the point where they're willing to literally take steroids and damage their entire body just so they can make an extra buck. Now watch, watch. I'm telling you right now, Tifu is going to come out with a workout plan. I have online coaching. He's going to coach all these 14 year old gamers, thinking, and these 14 year old gamers are going to think they're going to look like him in six months. He's going to sell his own merchandise for gym clothing, and he's going to sell this and that. <clears throat> he's just profiting, and it's just like, you know, when you have like 12 million subscribers and you tell the guy like, yo, if you build a little bit of muscle with these steroids, you can bump your net worth up by like $20 million, you're going to do it. I mean, if I had 12 million subs and you told me that and you told me like, bro, if you do this, you can gain so much uh, views or so many views and get so much more money. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take steroids for six months just so I can sell my own clothing line, my own brand and coach people and sell my own G Fuel and pre-workout and protein to make all that extra money. Yes, I would take steroids for six more months. I would. Right now, I'm not going to touch steroids. Why? I have no benefit to it. But if I benefited off all these people and selling all this money, I would. So this, why, why isn't this guy going to do it? You guys are crazy, man. I'm so sick and tired. You got people that are like 17 years old that are deadlifting like 400 pounds. And they're lean. They're at like 10% body fat and they're deadlifting 400 pounds at 17. Are you? I mean, whatever. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.